Hi, so today I want to show you how to add an emoji picker to Linux Mint like already exists in Windows 10 or 11. I've already got a guide on, on this on github.com um, so this goes through all the step by step steps <laughs> uh, showing how this can be done but I'll also be creating this video as reference. So what I'm, what I'm trying to show you is when I hit the Windows key or the super key as it's known in Linux and also the dot I want an emoji keyboard to come up and uh, I can show you how this works in Windows I'm hitting the Windows and the dot key and it brings up this uh, emoji search thing I can put something like monkey in and then I can just select one and it just inserts it really helpful for when you're just trying to send messages over WhatsApp or anything like that um, sadly Linux Mint is missing this functionality so I will be adding it and so um, the first step is going to be opening up the uh, package manager which is um, it's called the software manager and I'm going to install an application once this gets the cache warmed up here we go so it's ready now um, I'm going to install an application called emote which is here and you can also find this on github um, it gives you s it, I mean it's an emoji keyboard for Linux um, it's pretty good I like it I haven't really compared with other ones but I'm just happy with how this one works so I don't really feel the need to search for anything else it looks nice um, you can install it using Flatpak which is how I, I'll do it in this tutorial and this software manager is using Flatpak as we can see here so I'm going to click install here, continue, and then this will take a while. Okay, so it has uh, installed and I can close this now and I can go and check out the emote application. Um, gives you some information here saying that it's going to start when I log in, so that's good. I can check the keyboard shortcuts and I can see that the default is if I hit Control, Alt and E. So let's give that a go. I'm just going to close out of this and open up a text editor and then hit Control, Alt and E and we can see that it's opened up quite nicely. I can search for monkey again and select something which I like. Great, that's working pretty well. But um, I mean if you're happy with uh, using Control, Alt, E that's great. You can do that. Um, the next part of the guide is going to be covering how we can make it so that when I hit the Windows key and the dot combo that it will open up this because I don't know about you I use um, Windows sometimes for work I use Linux sometimes on my personal laptop having that muscle memory set up so if I always hit Windows dot it, it will always do the same thing on both uh, that's what I want so the rest of the guide is going to be showing how to get that working and now you might think that that's very simple. Let's open up the emote application again. Keyboard shortcuts. It says that we can change it here, so I'm going to change it to um, well, Windows dot super again is the Windows key. And now, if I close this and I hit Windows dot, uh, oh, it, it kind of works. Um, I don't know. I I hit dot. Mm, if I really I don't know, it's buggy. It doesn't really work very well. Sometimes it just puts the dot. Sometimes when I hold down the dot key, then it opens up this menu. So, kind of there, kind of not. Um, sadly, that doesn't work very well. So let's open up mode again, and I'm just going to change that back to how it was before. Control Alt E. But how we can actually get this working is let's go into keyboard and I'll go to shortcuts, custom shortcuts, add custom shortcuts and I'm going to type in anything I want to the name for me emote it's going to be good enough and I also need to add a custom command which will be this one let me just show you what that is looks like this and if I go to this directory in my file manager and we can see that this is where the application is actually sitting. If you didn't use Flatpak to install it, this would not be where the application is. 
you're gonna have to find out where it is. You, you can do that by uh, going into remote properties. In here we can see that, okay, Flatpak's running it for me and uh, the location. Can I make this bigger? Yes. Well, okay, well it, it's running this. Is it? Okay, maybe this isn't the way which you find it, but this might help you a little bit. Uh, it could be that if I... No, that doesn't help at all. Good luck trying to find out where your application sits. Um, let's remove this and okay, add this shortcut. And now for the keyboard bindings, this may work for you. I'm going to pick an accelerator and for me it's going to be Windows dot again, super dot. And this didn't work on my laptop, but right now I'm in a virtual box and it has worked. So let's try that out. I'm going to do Windows dot and it works great now. It works exactly how I'd want it to. But um, on my laptop, it didn't work that way at all. It just wouldn't let me hit Windows dot. It just wouldn't accept the combination. So I will show you how to fix this. So if, if you have the same issue where putting in uh, super dots or Windows dots doesn't set the keyboard binding, then continue to follow this guide. Um, instead of putting super dots, I will put um, Windows Q. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Windows Q. Um, we can test that. Not very useful. I mean, it opens it up still. Windows Q is still working. Um, but there's a way which we can fix this key binding. So this is just for now. I'm going to close this keyboard window. And here's going to get a bit more technical. I'm going to open up the terminal and I'm going to type this command dconf dump slash org slash cinnamon slash greater than cinnamon.dconf. And what this is doing is it's dumping this configuration into a file called cinnamon.dconf. So I can see this happening. If I go into here, there's no file. And as soon as I run this, now I can see that there's a file. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this file and I'm going to scroll down until I see my custom binding. Here we can see it says super Q. We don't want it to be super Q, we want it to be super period. Save the file, exit out, and now I'm going to um, hold on, go back to my terminal and I'm going to use this command dconf load again cinnamon uh, this time it's going to read from dconf file I'm going to, I'll, I'll show you this, hold on, if I go to keyboard shortcuts, custom, because here right now it's super Q. I need to close this window I run this command, now if I go to keyboard find my custom one, it says super period, so that change has worked um, I can now delete this file, it's no longer needed. Um, however, there is one last step. I don't think it's going to work yet. This, yeah, if I hit Windows period, it doesn't, doesn't open it up. Uh, it doesn't open up the um, emoji keyboard. So there's one last step, which is I need to log out. Wait a second. Uh, log back in. That should be it. And now, fingers crossed, if I hit, there we go. Windows Dot is now working. So that covers the full tutorial. Hope you find it helpful, and uh, good luck with Linux Mint.